All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a stop motion using Adobe Premiere Pro. It uh, should be under programs. Um, the biggest thing you want to make sure you do when you create one of these is that you take short steps <laughs> in your movements and whatever else. Um, you know, small changes. Anyways, once you get started, you're going to go to New Project. Um, and usually go to custom settings and pick the things you need. We're going to assume that you, you took pictures in the right size. And then I'm just going to call this test. All right. <clears throat> now, here's the, here's the menu setup. And you normally would import right away. But what happens if you import pictures, they end up being five seconds long a piece. And it take a long time resizing. Instead, what you want to do is go down to Edit, Preferences, and then Still Image. And right now, it's set, it usually defaults to like 50 frames. If you set it to 5 frames, that means it'll last for uh, 1 sixth of a second uh, because there's 30 frames a second. So if you wanted 1 frame a second, or I'm sorry, if you wanted, if you wanted uh, 30 frames a second, like on TV, you'd pick only 1. Uh, I'm going to say go ahead and pick like 4 or 5. Uh, otherwise, it, uh, most people don't take um, pictures quick enough, I, I guess you'd say. So go ahead and do 5 frames. And then you go to File, Import, and we'll get those. So I, for example, have some on my desktop here. And you can just hold down Shift to highlight a lot of them. And use the arrow keys to move over. And then just hit OK, and it'll import all of those. And then once they're up here, you should be able to either highlight it right now. While they're all selected, you should be able to drag them down into your video bar here. Um, if you look, you can, um, right now it just looks like a blob there, kind of, but if I zoom in, it'll actually show there are individual pictures. And if I scroll my mouse left and right, you can see the changes. It's uh, so like right here, you can see a group of students moving, and that's what you'd want to be able to see. Um, this last picture, a lot of times Adobe Premiere, for some reason, will take the last picture and put it in the first. So you can just move that down the line, see how I'm on the second video line. That works pretty well. And then I can just move down. Um, whoa. And I can just put that at the end, because I know that goes at the end. All right. And let's go back to the beginning. Now, you'll see I have a little gap right here. And one way to get rid of that is you can just right click in there and do ripple delete. And that way it'll move. Now, right now, this isn't that all that impressive. What you need to do is get something else in there. You probably need sound effects. So if you go to import again, you can import any sort of waves or um, waves or, or uh, mp3s or any of that as well alright so I'm just gonna bring those in as well and they will go down on your by the way this bar is too large let me just shrink it down so you can see everything easier um, you can just grab these and put them down on the audio bar okay now see mine went all the way down here onto the audio 4 and that's because that one's in mono you can see the little um, speaker guy, it's only in mono. Some of these are in um, stereo. If you only have a mono track, though, it's going to go to the mono track. If you have a stereo track, it's going to go to the stereo. So you got to scroll up and down if you're missing something. But uh, um, for example, I'm not sure what these all sound like. Okay, so like that's the first one. Let me get rid of this one then. I could bring in that, uh, sounds like a car or something like that. What you can do is right down here, if you just um, push play right here, you can see what it looks like with the sound effect. So there you go with that. Um, it's pretty much easy as that. If you want to, let's say I want to cut that down to here instead, I can just go to that spot and then move. See how right now it turns into this like bar thing with arrows, and I can push that to the edge there so it stops at that moment right there. You could also, instead of doing that, you could also do Control K, and it'll make a cut right there. So then I could just click, click on this and delete it. If for some reason I did need it longer again, I can extend it back as well, but I don't need to do that. So I'll just leave it like that. So put in your sound effects, um, get creative. Uh, sound effects make it much more realistic, a lot more fun. You can add music as well. Uh, let me show you quick how to also put a title slide. Let's say I want a slide at the end. I can go up to File New Title. And what it does is it shows what it would look like. So right now there's nothing here if this was on top of the la last slide. If, for example, I had it on black, like after nothing is going on, and I do no new title or project new title, it just shows, shows like this. But, uh, you know, type in whatever you want, and then you can highlight it, and you can change the font size here and the color 
and all these other things like the fill color for example maybe I want to use like a I don't know, like a light blue color or something like that I can do that and uh, it's pretty simple it, it works much like Illustrator or Photoshop just you can move your text around you can change the size you can you can even draw in, in this with a pen tool um, it's up to you um, and other thing is right now it's still but you can also make it roll or crawl if you'd like uh, but this is just one image so I'm gonna leave it alone when I close it it's gonna ask me do you want to save this and just say yes and it's, you can title it whatever you want you could say end credits or whatever and then you just drag that down to where you want it at and then you can you can right now it's you know it's only that long um, but you can just whoop, <laughs> you can just pull it to whatever length you want uh, just like anything else it looks like I got rid of it so just extend it however long you want and there you go um, one last thing if you want to get into effects they do have video transitions and audio transitions in here um, effects and transitions so you can try both um, that's about it uh, good luck on your stop motion one last thing you gotta be able to take it out of the, uh, the program so if you want to save it as a movie you go to file and you gotta be clicked off everything but then go to file export movie and right now it's on AVI uh, that works well for just about anything it's a really large file but for for a lot of people that'll work on anything so if it's not an AVI choose DV AVI right here you can go to video and you can um, choose other settings but as long as it's on 29.97 or in 30 you should be all set so there you go enjoy